Hi guys, how are you doing? And today I want to show you my professional artist review of this, the Wacom Bamboo Tip. It's an absolutely great stylus for digital artists like you and I. Why? It's a stylus that you can use on any Android and iPhone, iPad, Apple devices. And that's pretty good. You might want to add this one to your kit bag. Stay tuned and find out why. Okay, so I got this almost about two weeks ago, and I've been playing with it quite heavily since then. I wanted to get the review done a little quicker than this, but Wacom released some new news about their Cintiq Pro 24 and 32. And yeah, I, I got some videos about those up instead. So go and check those out if you're interested in the new Cintiq Pro line. Otherwise, sorry for not having got this up sooner. But it did give me an excellent chance to do some little speed paintings on different devices. I have kept those speed paintings and put them in this video. So you've got three different little speed painting tests, what I call draw tests. They're quite cool and they give you an idea as to what this can do. One thing straight off the bat I loved about this was how well made it is. It feels very sturdy. You've got a 1.9 millimetre nib which is very fine especially in comparison to some of the horrible things that I've worked with in the past but a 1.9 mil is is a ballpoint pen basically so there you go you've got a removable nib which I don't think many people have pointed out or even spotted maybe now this is a compassive stylus what's that mean it's not Bluetooth it doesn't need software and it doesn't need batteries all thumbs up in those respects you know those are absolutely great things we hit ones that need bluetooth because bluetooth drains the battery we hit ones that need software because software often goes out of date or operating systems on phones have issues with it when they get upgraded this has worked perfectly straight away with every device that i've tried it with funnily enough if you want to know something that really blows my mind right now I'm using it on my Wacom 27 QHD touch. How weird is that? Yeah. But it's working because it's compassive. It's touch based. If I turn the touch off on my Wacom, it doesn't work anymore. It only works because it's touch based. So, yeah. That's what compassive is and there you go. I'm sure you guys all know that anyway. You know, it's not brain surgery, is it? It's art surgery. <laughs> what I do like is that Wacom have made the button perfectly flush with a slight indentation for your finger and all you have to do is press and hold and it goes green and it's on press and hold and it goes red and it's off there's no double taps or anything complicated or press it three times to go off or it's just press and hold off press and hold on that's it it's nothing crazy complicated so many little digital devices I have like um, like a phone or a different pen or um, a remote or they all have these systems of double tap triple tap and you can never remember which one does what and if you stop using something for like a couple of weeks or you know a few days or you swap and you're swapping between all these devices constantly you're like was it double tap for this or triple tap for that or press and hold and that's it so the charging port on this i like the design the design is nice on the end there some people like batteries some people don't like batteries personally you know one of the reasons why i think wacom have done so well over the years is the fact that they have a battery-less uh, stylus. You know, everybody loves that. Nobody loves recharging batteries or paying for more batteries, and you know. But this port looks really great. It's easy to charge, comes with a good quality cable. It's well hidden under there, and it's a female connector. It's not a male connector that sticks out like on the horrible Apple Pencil with that male connector that looks like it can just snap off. You know, this one is well in there. It's just 
got a simple rubber cap on there that's still well designed it looks nice and neat I've not got a cap on there that I'm gonna lose so that's nice and this little toggle switch right here on the back that goes up and down that's so when you're using different types of uh, devices different screens you can toggle that up or down to find a more suited setting for yourself it's basically if you're using an Apple device you're probably better off in the downwards position it works better with Apple screens basically and upwards for Android so down for Apple up for Android that's the best way to remember it so some mobile apps are maybe a bit more optimized for the bamboo tip here than other mobile apps hmm I wonder what apps there could be well maybe the bamboo paper app yeah who'd have thought that okay so yeah I will check that out in another video I could check it out in this one but no I figure that's worth a look entirely in its own video where I can do that and take some actual time to do it rather than doing it as a speed painting in a draw test. You know, you get them free in this one, don't be greedy. If you're wondering, can you use a screen protector with a bamboo tip? The answer is yes, but it will cut down the contact between the tip and the screen, just like it will cut down the tip of your finger and the contact with your screen. So make sure it's a decent quality screen protector, is all I'm saying. I mean, Wacom, I think they would just kind of say better off without, but I would personally say, yeah, you might lose something, but I think as long as it's a really fine, good quality one, you'd probably be okay. One other thing about this being a capacitive stylus is that it means there's no palm rejection, right? That's pretty obvious. But it just means that either you have to lift your hand like that, so you don't touch the tablet you're using or your phone or something like that. Over the years, I don't even think about that now. It just doesn't enter into my mind while I'm drawing. Or you can get a cool pair of gloves like mine Basically, so when I'm drawing, I, my hand just glides and I don't have to look like one of those weird people who wear the two fingerless gloves. The Wacom Bamboo Tip is Android and iOS devices, but then you've got Wacom Bamboo Ink that's Microsoft devices. So if you came here wanting something that would work on your, you know, Microsoft device, and you were like, oh, I'm bummed out because I only, you know, this thing only works on, on Android phones and then, hmm. But then, you can always get this guy. I'll put links to both in the description, don't worry. Don't worry. It's cool. I'm getting more and more Android devices in. Uh, fewer Apple ones I'd mentally but if you've got an iPhone if you made that mistake my heart goes out to you but it does mean at least you can sit there with your iPhone 7 thinking I should have bought a Note 8 I should have bought the Note 8 you know but you didn't you know maybe you went for the iPhone 10 you were sucking it no sorry for you but it's okay because it means at least you can have a stylus now and kind of pretend it was a, a not a. Put your hate in the comments below. Um, <laughs> part of me hopes that at one point they're just going to go boom and have a baby, uh, uh, an, an ink tip, you know, um, and it'll all just be one stylus. And there are rumors of that, you know, um, about there just being one mega stylus and all the companies talking about it but I mean that that's like a fair few years off I think but yeah this is this is an absolute great stylus to 
to get going with, especially if you have multiple devices and you're using Android and you're using iOS, or even if you just have one device, but you just want to do a good bit of sketching. So a friend of mine asked what tablet she should buy her daughter to help her get into art. And I asked what tablet she had and she mentioned some Android tablet and I could go and tell her quite easily to, you know, spend a thousand pounds, thousand dollars on the latest Surface Pro and she'd be amazed with that and that'd be brilliant. But we're talking, you know, about a 10 year old kid. For 50 bucks, 50 pounds, this would be amazing for that same kid on that Android tablet that she has. You know, with a couple of good apps, this would be great. Because then in say, four months time, six months time, she will have progressed so far with this. If by that time, you know that they still love it, then get at the surface. That's the advice I should give because it's so much cheaper and you can advance so far with something like this. I mean, she could just carry on with this, but it's, it's kind of like, you don't need all the bells and whistles. You don't need to go and spend that much money because this will do a lot for, I mean, a kid of that age doesn't need top of the line tablet you know and for a professional artist this in your kit bag is indispensable the ability to be able to draw wherever you are on the road is indispensable and that's why I got myself the Note 8 you know that's why I picked that up because being able to have that creativity just wherever you are out there that's so important. Being able to go, think of an idea, and sketch, and come back to the studio and recreate it, and not have to reimagine it. That's important. I like this. I'm happy with this. It works as advertised. Unlike a lot of things, this works easily and quickly on everything that I tried it on. I like the fact that there is no setup time with it. There's no software behind it. There's no Bluetooth, I just put it down and it starts working. The Starless does auto power off as well, which is pretty handy. So guys, let me know what you think about the bamboo tip. Did you like it? Would you buy it? Would you have this for yourself? Would you stick one in your kit bag? If I was giving a load of them away for free, would you take one? Is there another Starless you'd like to see? What about the bamboo? ink for windows what about that would you like one of those what do you like about it do you like the sleek shape do you like the fact that it's got removable nips do you like the rechargeable port do you like the little switch to be able to go from android to ios you know what do you like leave your thoughts leave your comments leave your normal insults below <laughs> yeah i'm used to them by now um, yeah, and I shall see you all very, very soon. But like, comment, and subscribe as always, but mostly comment. I enjoy our conversations. I shall see you guys very, very soon. Stay subscribed, but yeah, mostly stay in touch. Until next time, keep on drawing. Well, thanks for watching. Be sure to comment, like, and even subscribe to my channel, Lawrence Can Draw. And if you really did like what you saw here, you can see more of it on my website, lawrenceman.co.uk. I'll see you next time.